25 men from across the country are in the Bay Area, and they're about to compete for a roster spot on the U.S. Paralympic basketball team. Yeah, these athletes will gasp for air and wipe away streams of sweat during this intense three-day workout. A local company manufactures the high-performance wheelchairs for these elite athletes. News Channel 8 photojournalist Bob Hansen introduces us to the man who designs these machines of mobility and has a special interest in it as well. The technology has really upped all levels of, of Paralympic sports, and it's a really, really neat thing to be part of it. I've been designing now as a mechanical engineer for Top End for five years. People say, well, where do you get your inspiration for design, or, or, or what do you think of first? And I'm like, well, I just start attacking all the things that have irritated me my entire life. I was in a car accident when I was 10. I went through the story where you wake up in the hospital room and you can't move your legs. I lived it and it was devastating for me. And what sports has done for me, a whole bunch of things that I never would have anticipated. I'm 32 years old. I've been part of the USA team since I was 18. I've been the captain for the last five years. It's an amazing experience to be able to watch him represent the United States. It's so neat to see him play at that level. The Paralympics are are the premier sporting event for people with disabilities. Every single one of those athletes that you see in the Paralympics, every single one of them had a reason to give up. Every single one of them had a reason to say, you know what, no one's gonna blame me if I just chill. And every single one of them defied that. The thing I love about Paul is that he's humble. I mean, even though he's He's won the award of the best player in the world. Many of our friends don't even know anything about what he's done with wheelchair basketball. They think he's just a great guy. In 2002 and in 1998, I won gold medals at the World Championships. In 2002, I was named World MVP. I've won two silvers, one bronze, and then here in the States, I'm a six-time national champion. My most proud moment is probably when my son says please and thank you. Um, my family is everything to me. I think it's amazing to me, but I'm most excited for our son to be able to grow up and have that influence in his life and just the influence of being around people with disabilities. I think it will open up his world. Right behind my family, my most proud moment was, was being in a stadium in another country um, and hearing our national anthem boom. Um, it's just one of the coolest things in the world to be associated with. Now, the road to the 2012 London Paralympics begins tomorrow for Paul Schulte. He will once again look to make the national team for his eighth time. So well-spoken, too, isn't it? I'm I mean, in love with the family. Embraced with all I'm of just them. in love with them, you know? Yeah. They're just so inviting, all, both of them. Super talented, too, this guy. Did you check out the guns? No, I wasn't looking. Oof, man. We'll be right back. Talk.